Hey guys, A2A Find Adventure here. What is your gas mileage on your Tundra? I'll tell you, mine is pretty lousy. I mean, it's probably running around around town about 12, you know, 12 miles to the gallon. On the highway, it's a little more. But I tell you, I didn't improve it too much by, you know, adding a lot of mods to it and different things. And I'm going to talk to you about those. I'm also going to talk about how we can get better gas mileage with our Tundra. And I'm gonna tell you some tricks. You might already know them, but just check it out. And, um, you know, maybe you'll learn something. Uh, maybe I'm just, you know, what do they call it? Blowing sunshine. Anyways, I'm not gonna finish that. But uh, anyhow, so just check it out and uh, see what you think and see if any of these tips help you, especially new drivers or new people to uh, owning an automobile and you're trying to get the best gas mileage possible. Uh, so anyways, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's talk about it and, uh, and go from there. So guys, let's talk about achieving the best gas mileage with your Tundra. You know, when I bought this thing and it was just a, you know, like I'd call a stripped down SR5 model Tundra, it was a 2021, had one convenience package, had Michelin tires, you know, the Defenders, great tire, great tire for gas mileage, very lightweight, very thin sidewall, um, you know, it is, uh, the tire is great for gas mileage and great for quietness. Um, you know, I, my truck also came with steel wheels, they're a little heavier than alloys, and, uh, you know, the truck with you know nothing on it no camper shell no anything it got it, it got you know better gas mileage let's just say that so let me tell you a few things so i upgraded wheels tires i've added rear bumper a roof rack topper on the back of the bed i've put a light bar in the grill um a small lift using Bilstein 5100 shocks for about two and a half inches of lift in the front. So, you know, all of that, all of those mods, including if you put tow mirrors on this truck, which I have not, that's gonna affect your gas mileage. So, you know, first thing I did was I, uh, I put a, a bed cover on, one of those trifolds. That didn't help or make worse anything it just protected stuff in the bed out of sight out of mind um you know and then you know i went and i got um wheels and tires so i got um, some 18 inch alloy wheels and and i got some tires just a little bigger they're um instead of the 270 65 18s i believe it came with the defenders i went with a 275 7018 so it was like an inch wider and about a half an inch taller and that right there even though the alloy wheels weighed less a little less than the steel wheels they um i still could tell a slight difference in my gas mileage now then i realized over time that the tires you know, being an E-Class tire, this tire weighed about 15 pounds more each tire than a, than a Defender. With the added rotational weight of an E-Class tire, um, you know, because of the heavier sidewalls and they're made to take higher pressure for towing heavy loads or carrying heavy loads, um, that rotational weight really is a drag on your performance and your gas mileage. Just expect it. The benefits, you have a heavier duty tire. Um, if you're gonna be bumping off rocks or towing something really heavy, and you know, you just need that type of tire. Um, I have that added security of, you know, if I was to rub up against a rock, it's not gonna cut the sidewall unless it's a really sharp, big rock and I hit it fast. Um, you know, 10 ply sidewalls, you know, you're adding like, all those layers of rubber so they're very heavy again rotation rotational rotational weight is going to be a drag on your performance and your gas mileage and i'm paying for that so you're looking at one and a half 
to two miles per gallon, maybe, maybe, depending on how you drive, you know, just subtract that from whatever you were getting. Another thing is, you know, in the winter, um, because of the, um, and this is just naturally occurring in the winter due to the uh, low air density, uh, air pressure in your vehicle tires that a car, a truck, bicycles, motorcycles, wheelbarrows, whatever you got with the tire will lose air pressure as the, as the, you know, because of the air density. So in the winter, it's the worst and you will lose air pressure. So, you know, if the little light comes on on your dash for your TPMS or whatever, um, you probably need to add three to four pounds a tire. Uh, depends on your tire and depends on, you know, the size and everything, but just check it. Um, I always put a few pounds more, uh, that way the light doesn't come on in the winter because it will fluctuate. If your car sits in the sun, those tires will heat up and they'll have higher pressure. But at night, they'll go back down again and that light will come on. So just check your air pressure in the winter because air pressure is probably the most common thing to get people bad gas mileage. So, you know, they're driving around on tires that are low and that puts all that drag on your vehicle trying to push through the air and uh, puts more strain on your engine and you use more gasoline. So check your tire pressure. You know, that really helps to get, get you better gas mileage in any vehicle, no matter what it is, whether you have four tires or two. Next thing, which they do look cool and they do serve a function, but adding a roof rack to any, any vehicle, it's going to automatically hurt your gas mileage. So, you know, you really have to watch that. Any roof rack or anything you add to that roof rack, whether it's a cargo box or a set of skis or a bicycle or anything, that's going to cause wind drag. And that's going to also cut about a, you know, it's going to hurt your MPG by about one and a half to two. I mean, it really will. And of course, that also matters on how fast you drive. Around the city, it'll probably be minimal. But if you get out on the highway and you have a bicycle on your roof or a cargo box or any type of roof rack, I don't care if you have a fairing. A fairing is just for noise reduction. You're going to, it's going to hurt your gas mileage. So, you know, just think about that before you go putting a Yakima roof rack system on your roof or anything like that. It's going to be noisy. Even with a fairing, you're going to hear some wind noise and it's going to really hurt your gas mileage. doesn't hurt the performance too bad. Not as bad as tires, heavy tires but it will hurt your gas mileage. Now, if you've ever seen a uh, Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport, or even some of these other uh, cars out there, like the Volkswagen Jettas and stuff, they have a little chin spoiler. They put these on the TRD Sport that had 17 inch wheels. Um, I don't really know the reason why they didn't come on other, other models of the uh, Tacomas. It was basically, I think, because of, um, I guess they figured the TRD off-road would be off-road and the chin spoiler would get ripped off. The TRD Sport was more of a street vehicle. But I tell you, that little chin spoiler will, sa will, will save you about a mile or two per gallon. So when you're driving around, your buddy in the TRD off-road is getting 15 around the city. You'll be getting 17 with that chin spoiler. Let me just say, on the highway. Not in the city. But on the highway you'll get much better. So it, on the highway, if you have a TRD Sport, you'll get, let's say, 17 miles per gallon. If you had a TRD off-road, you'd get 15. So, I mean, so, you know, it's a couple, but that chin spoiler really works. Um, I just think they look kind of dorky on a truck. On a car, you know, they're sitting low. Yeah, cool. But on a truck, a chin spoiler that's like four or five inches, uh, it's just looks, you know, I don't know. It's just not for me. I would take it off regardless. Um, you know, um, lift in your truck, lift in your car, you know, um, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt your gas mileage. Um, in the legacy that I, the Subaru legacy that I lifted, I haven't seen any difference. Um, I haven't driven it a lot on the highway yet, even though I did drive it, test drive it and get it out there and see how it did, did fine. Uh, I don't drive it enough to tell if it hurt the gas mileage, but when you lift the truck, anything over stock, it's going to hurt that gas mileage you saw on the window sticker that said average MPG. You're going to hurt that. Once that air gets blocked by that suspension and all that, um, it's going to hurt you. 
but just by like, you know, a combination, like if the tires and everything, it's all gonna combine and it's gonna knock a couple of MPG off your vehicle. Um, and the more you add and the more you do, it's just gonna hurt it. So, you know, you can um, avoid all this by leaving it, you know, to OE specs and driving it really slow like a grandpa, keeping it around 2000 RPM. You'll probably do just fine and get whatever the window sticker said, you know? This Tundra was really high, but I haven't gotten that in a while. And, you know, I like to drive. I like the sound of the V8. I don't speed, but, you know, I like the sound of the V8. So let's just leave it there. Um, but on the highway, you know, if even if you have a lifted truck, a roof rack, all this other stuff, big tires, if you do, you know, 65 miles an hour and under, you'll get the best gas mileage. If you start going over 65, you're going to put another hit on that gas mileage. So you might as well give it up. Let's not even talk about towing, but we all know towing is going to be bad for your gas mileage. So, you know, don't worry about that. You know, change your air filter and do it every oil change. Oil changes now, they say, are 10,000 miles. I don't recommend that. I recommend changing it before that, especially in the summer months. You know, um, but they say it's 10,000 miles. Change your air filter every 10,000 miles or five. If you can afford it or you can get them in bulk, 5,000 mile air filter change, do it. You know, that'll help too. And good airflow will keep the engine from straining and keep you from using more gasoline. You know, and like I said, change the oil, change the oil, service your car more often and, and, you're, and it'll be, it'll run great. So, you know, like I said, change the oil and do regular maintenance, change that air filter more often. And, you know, it, it'll mean less strain on your engine and less gasoline. So, so let's see here. What's left? You know, I mean, that's about it. So basically, basically, if you add bigger tires, you're going to be pushing that air. If you lift your vehicle, you're going to be pushing that air. Your suspension is going to be pushing that air. And you're going to start hurting your gas mileage. If you put roof rack on the top, that really hampers the aerodynamics. You know, if you put stuff on that roof rack and you go fast down the highway, you're going to hurt your, you're going to really feel the drag and it's going to hurt your gas mileage. You know, um, you know, changing things to the front of your vehicle, putting a big light bar and all this stuff, that's all going to hurt your vehicle's OE gas mileage. Um, hundred percent of the time, the things hurting your gas mileage, underinflated tires. Check your air pressure, put the proper air pressure in your tires. You know, if your tires are worn and they're making your steering wheel shake, get new tires. Um, if you run E-class tires, they're heavy. They're gonna hurt your gas mileage. A lot of people complain, hey, look, I got big tires for my truck and now my gas mileage and performance sucks. Well, that's because the tire was so heavy some tires can weigh 80 pounds a piece. They are so heavy that it's just so much strain on your engine to push to roll those tires that it's going to get you worse gas mileage. Now, <laughs> I didn't buy this Tundra to get Prius performance in gas mileage. You know, it's like it's like that's not why I got it. I got it because it's a V8 with nearly 400 horsepower, and it sounds amazing. You know, yeah, it'll it can, it's it's quickish, quickish. Not it's not you know Raptor quickish. It's not sports car quickish, but it's it does for the size of vehicle. It's 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 there, and I like that. But just the sound of this motor in this Toyota Tundra is amazing. Now, let's get back to air pressure real quick before I end this video. Air pressure in your tires. Number one cause of bad gas mileage. You know, second, oil changes, air filters, and on down the line. R roof racks, bicycles on the roof, roof boxes, you know, driving down the highway at 80 miles an hour. It's just all that drag, bad gas mileage. So anyways, check your tire pressure, air your tires to the OE specs, whatever the dealer says, whatever the manufacturer says, just to be safe. Um, 
you know, and uh, it'll improve your gas mileage. And that's for any vehicle. When it comes to tires, air them up. That's it. So that's what I got for you. So, you know, this might be a dorky video. You might already know this, but, but listen, all these things, you know, contribute. But of course, like I said, I didn't buy it for gas mileage. I have a Subaru for that if I need good gas mileage. And um, so anyways, you know, if you would, um, you know, check out some of my links below. Uh, you know, there's some links on interior stuff I've done for the Tundra, exterior stuff. Um, check out some of my other videos. I've got some Subaru videos out there where I lifted the Subaru and, uh, or should I say had a lift installed, done some stuff for Subarus, but mostly it's 99% Tundra. Check them out. I really appreciate it. And I thank you for watching. Well, I hope you like my video on little hints for getting better gas mileage out of your vehicle. No, I can't, I can't stay in the lane. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the it was informative. I hope you learned some new things, um, especially for new drivers or people new to modding trucks. I see a lot of people comment, you know, what happened? All of a sudden my gas mileage went way down. You know, what's up? You know, and I... You know, it's just, there's a lot of things like that, that will, um, little things that will really decrease your gas mileage. So I wanted to share those with you and just kind of educate you a little. Ooh, that, that car was going fast. And, uh, you know, I just, I hope you, I hope you got something out of it. So anyways, I'm going to do some more videos that are kind of informative. Some of them, some of, bleh, some of them, including the mods that I've done and, uh, you know, just stay tuned. I got more videos coming. And if you would uh, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you next time. See ya.